Cool. Hey there, this is Nick Davis with Minion Plus, and I'd like to share with you my label kit. I call this the Label Archive. And it's a binder that has a bunch of wine labels that I have, in a way, preserved from my various tastings that I've done. And some of these are, are pretty special wines that I've really enjoyed with friends and wanted to keep in my catalog. And one that I tasted recently was a uh, 1961 Chateau Brin Cantonac from Margot. And this was showing beautifully, really had a lot of fresh fruit and um, was enjoyed with friends at a restaurant here in Seattle. So I decided I would um, take the, the label off of this guy. And I use these label lifter kits. Um, it's essentially a big piece of tape that adheres to the label and has a really tough adhesive and it, it takes it right off. So this, I'm going to take both the front label and the um, kind of foil capsule. And knowing that it's 1961, this is probably made of lead, so something you may not use uh, anymore. And I can even use the, the, the binder hooks as a, a cradle of sorts. And so this just peels right off. And I like to line it up on the non-sticky side first um, to make sure it's going to fit on uh, both vertically and horizontally. So I, I do just a little tester there. And this might be a little long to get the, the whole label, and that's just fine. We don't need to get the entire thing necessarily. So I start on the far end over here, and I'll, I'll show this to you. So I've got just a little bit of margin of the, the lifter here. And then very carefully, I'm gonna use my fingers and adhere this so there's no bubbles and it'll go on smooth. And my main goal is to get all of the Chateau label. So even if some of this import label doesn't show, that's okay. And then I use my finger to um, get some overall uh, adherence on the, the label with the lifter. And then this scraper, which is actually used to um, scrape the gunk off of your lasagna pan, I just rub it on the label. And it's, this is soft enough plastic that it's not going to rip or tear or scratch the plastic surface. And what this is doing is just getting all the tiny little air bubbles out and really getting that sticky adhesive to adhere to all the different parts of the label. And just like anything, um, the first few times doing this uh, may be tricky and it may not work out. So I would practice on a, uh, a wine that you don't care that much about before going to a, a special bottle. So now this is nice and, and adhered. And I like to take it off just like I do a Band-Aid. You want to do it with a nice uh, kind of flick of the wrist and, and with some force and that will get the label off. So here's the moment of truth. I peel up a little corner to get something to grip onto, and I'm just gonna kind of snap my wrist, and you see it, it starts to come off really clean. And I'm gonna use that, that same motion. Um, and you can see that with this old label, it didn't, quite, it didn't quite make it where all of the label was there, and that's not an issue, because we just go over it in that little spot with the scraper, and you gotta apply some pressure here. And then, so that one came off that time, and this one still needs a little bit more work. And this whole thing is a trial in, in patience and, and in, in getting it. And this is okay. If it's not coming off now, we can, we can try it from the other angle, and it might work better. So I'm just going to work around the whole label, and anything that doesn't come off, we can get later on. So we have most of the label, label here intact. And this is always something that requires a little bit of patience, uh, especially some of the Roan labels might not uh, come off all in one go, and that's okay. But in the end, it'll look really clean and really good. So then we got, we got all the top one. So I'm just going to re-adhere at the bottom. Let's get the as much of this import sticker as we can. So we got a good amount of the import sticker. We can go over it like that. 
And what's nice about doing this is I'm staring at the label for about 10 minutes as I'm uh, working on this. And so the image of this label is kind of stuck in my mind. It's, it's stuck in my memory. And I'm, I'm going to remember that label for a long time. So I was able to get that, that last little bit there. And so now this is, this is fully adhered. We can take the, the sticker off. And I'm just going to put this here temporarily because we still have a little bit left to do. So I grab my scissors and I pick a spot. And these can be sharp, so don't cut yourself. But I'm just going to drag a line down the foil and try to get it to, to open up. And you can use like a, a, a pocket knife blade, works um, pretty well. And then the foil comes off. And I wait to adhere anything until the end so that I can line it up. And I just make this nice and flat. And here's another sticky. And I measure how much of uh, the sticky I might need. It's always good to have margin and you can just trim the extra later on. And if you're trying to peel some of this, you just fold it over, fold the corner over, and then this will appear and you can separate them easily. And then I just take this and go down like that. And you know, I like to save these, these metal uh, capsules because I think they really uh, showcase the age of the wine sometimes. They can be dinged up and, and there can be some art on these as well that's really pretty to, um, to get documented. So I think it's, it's great to save these foils. And so I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit to make it uh, look clean and good. And then this one, um, I think I'm happy with this. I'm just going to trim the bottom. I like to have about a centimeter of sticky so that there's plenty of things to adhere. And then you'll notice that the foil curves up in a smile just a little bit. And if it's curved up, you know it's, it's doing it the right way. So then, now I'm all laid out. I'm gonna adhere it. So, do that. And once you do this, you can't take it back, so don't screw it up. So, there we go, just like that. Use my fingers. There we go. And then you can use your scraper again to really get it stuck on there, take out all the air bubbles and make it look clean. Because you're gonna show this off to all of your wine buddies and they're gonna ooh and ah over your great label job. You wanna get your label looking as clean as possible. And then from there, all we need to do is add a few little notes. So I like to do the full title of the wine at the top, if there's room. So I'll go 1961, I'll go Chateau Brain Cantonac, and that's from Margot Bordeaux, France. And that's obvious from seeing it on the label, but then I'll also indicate when I tasted it. So this was on 10, 18, 16 at Sitka and Spruce, Seattle Wah. And then I, I put who brought the bottle uh, to give them credit. So I go courtesy K-A. And maybe some notes. So it had dried fig, strawberry, graphite, leather, granite, toast, and sarsaparilla. And there you have it. And what this indicates here is we have the foil, we have the name of the chateau, the vintage, any um, indication of appellation is there as well, plus the alcohol and the importer. And there's so much valuable information there. And what we can do is attach one of these little tabs um, and I've got a tab on each 
uh, different area of the world and I just write down the region. And then if we want to find, let's say, wines from Alsace, we just flip to the Alsace page and boom, there's Alsace. If we want to go to Germany, I've got a Germany tab and so here's Germany and um, this is a great way to practice theory knowledge, producer knowledge and highlight the wines that you've had the pleasure of tasting with friends and for your studies. So again, I'm Nick Davis with Medium Plus and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Cheers.